We finished with the video series dealing with Apex 18.1 using a scenario about animal shelters. But I wanted to say just a couple of things about the data model and the database now that we're finished. We worked with an animal shelter database. But I want you to think about, if you're not that used to working with different types of databases, think about what's the common functionality as you go from one database to another. The fact that the names of the tables and the columns are different does not mean that the functionality is that different. In many cases, it's very much the same. So once you've dealt with one particular database, there are a lot of things you can transfer over to a different database in terms of your experience and how you design things. So if you look at the data model for what we worked with in this video series, which was animal shelter, the table's called animals, the table's called transactions. But don't get hung up on the name. Look at what is happening. We have records over here. Each record can have one or more or zero or many related records in this table. This table transaction has two distinct relationships to a table called persons. But you could take this same setup of transactions to persons and you could apply that to students and teams. We did that in the video series Apex 5. If I look at the data model for that particular series, this is what we see. We have students and evaluations, two tables that have two distinct relationships. A student on a team can be the evaluator, evaluating another student who is the evaluatee. If we come back to the animal shelter, we have a transaction where one person is the client who's either bringing an animal in or who's taking an animal home. We have another relationship between transactions and persons, which is for the employee person, the person who is processing that transaction at the animal shelter. There are many situations where you have a database, two tables having two distinct relationships. This can also apply to a sales order where this is the order and this is the person's table where one person is a customer and one person is an employee. This could be the transfer of equipment. This could be transfer. One facility is the point of origin for the transfer. One facility is the destination of the transfer. What you would add to that if you had the transfer of equipment between facilities is for any one transfer, you probably would have another table related here on a one-to-many relationship that allows you to list one or more pieces of equipment that are being transferred. This also applies if you have a flight and you have airports. You have a point of origin airport and the flight with its point of destination, which is an airport. You do not create separate tables just because you call one airport the origin and one airport the destination. Same thing on the transfer. So we see some very common functionality. I just want you to be aware that even though we built a database for an animal shelter, you have some very common features and functionality that you can apply from one database to another. So with transactions, we don't have if I want to take this and compare it to something like a sales order or a transfer where you have items that are transferred, it's probably better to go back and look at the data model for the students and teams and students that evaluate team members. Because the student could be the facility, it could be the person who's a customer or an employee, this could be the order, it could be the transfer, this could be the item being transferred, this could be the item being purchased, this could be inventory. This is an inventory of evaluation items. It could also be an inventory of products out in the warehouse. There's a lot of commonality. So look for what's common as you go from one database to the next. 
I also want to come back to the data model for the animal shelter and point out something I've mentioned in some previous videos. I forced this design with activities separate from transactions because I wanted a situation when we were building the application to have a master form with two detail sections. I really think you could put activities into the transactions table. In any case, what you've learned and worked with here with the animal shelter has many things you can transfer over to future applications.